Let's take a look at an example of how to find a polynomial function given its roots. So if I'm given the roots 4, 16, and 1 plus 19i, I want to find the equation for my polynomial p of x. First thing I want to think about is what is the degree of this polynomial. When I first look at it, I see three roots, so I might think there's only three for the degree. However, one of my roots is a complex root, and I know from the conjugate root theorem that if I have a complex root, it has to come in a conjugate pair. In other words, if 1 plus 19i is a root, then so is 1 minus 19i. That means that I actually have four roots for my polynomial, so my polynomial has a degree of four. The roots are 4, 16, 1 plus 19i, and 1 minus 19i. So in order to find then the polynomial, I need to find all the factors. Remember that a factor means to take the root, change the sign, and stick an x in front of it. In other words, x minus 4 is one of my factors. So is x minus 16. There's two factors. Another factor is going to be x minus 1 plus 19i. Well, that really becomes x minus 1 minus 19i. And then the other factor is x minus 1 plus 19i, which is x minus 1 plus 19i. In other words, if I have x minus 1 plus 19i, I have to distribute the 1. This becomes x minus 1 minus 19i. Likewise, when I do x minus 1 minus 19i, I have to distribute it. That's where this one comes from, too. Now I'm going to multiply the factors together. Remember, I can only multiply two factors at a time. So let's start with x minus 4 times x minus 16. When I multiply that together, I get x squared minus 20x plus 64. x times x is x squared. x times negative 16 is negative 16x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Those are like terms. So negative 16x plus negative 4x is negative 20x. And negative 4 times negative 16 is a positive 64. This is one of my factors of p of x, one of my trinomial factors. And that's an equal sign here. Now I need to multiply together these two trinomials. And if you watched the video that I asked you to watch, then you'll know that there was a pattern that we could follow in multiplying these. I happen to put the pattern here for us so that we can look at it. Feel free to multiply this out longhand if you'd like, but I'm going to use the pattern. The pattern says that I'm going to take x and I'm going to square it. That makes sense. So I have x squared. Then it says that I'm going to subtract 2 times a times x. Well, let's figure out what a is. Wait a minute. This was a, and then this is minus bi. So a equals 1, and b equals 19. So this says minus 2 times a, so 2 times 1 is 2, times x. So minus x. Then this says that I want to take a and square it. Well, a is 1 and 1 squared is 1, so I'm going to add 1. Finally, I want to take my b term and square it. So b is 19, and when I square 19, I get 361. But I also notice that 1 plus 361, that's 362, so I'm going to simplify this. And if you were doing this on paper, I'd suggest rewriting it, not erasing it. That way you can see exactly where that 362 came from. Of course, now what does this mean? This means that we're going to have to multiply again. We've got two trinomials that need to be multiplied together in order to get the polynomial in standard form. So if I want to do that, I'm going to do it long ways. In other words, I'm going to go vertical. This way I can multiply. So now, 
I'm going to take 362 and multiply it by 64, and I get this really big number. It's 23,168. Multiply 362 times negative 20x. This is where calculator comes in really handy. It's negative 7,240. Don't forget the x. Now I have 362 times x. Well, thankfully, that's easy to multiply. 362, and it's x squared, of course. Then I get my negative 2x and multiply it out, and I get negative 128x. Negative 2x times negative 20 is a positive 40x squared. And negative 2x times x squared is negative 2x cubed. x squared times 64 is 64x squared. And x squared times negative 20 is negative 20x cubed. And x squared times x squared is x to the 4. Of course, now I have to add all my like terms together. You would do this vertically, and you'd have line paper. It'll be a little bit easier for you to write. I'm going to put my answer over here. So I get x to the 4 minus 22x cubed plus 400. 66x squared minus 7,368x plus 23,168. This is P of x with the roots 4, 16, 1 plus 99, and 1 minus 99. Now if I graphed this, how many times did this cross the x-axis? I'm waiting for you. Write it down. And how do you know? Think about that. Those are questions we're going to talk about in class.